normal is is a really is the 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 app way to to put it because it doesn't feel normal ever but that's the new normal that it doesn't feel normal that that access to speak to them isn't there necessarily and that the memories you have are you're not making new memories um i actually I, i've shared this a few times but uh, brody lee uh luke harper um he his his father had passed away when he was younger and I remember when I went through the experience with my dad, that was the big key advice he had given me. He told me, I said, it just seems crazy that everyone's moved on and they're, and, and everybody's talking about what they're doing in the next hour, whereas time has stood still for me. I remember him telling me that 10 years had passed for him at the time and nothing had changed. 10 years had passed and he felt the same exact way he did. Uh, and And that wasn't, it wasn't a negative or a positive. It was just like you said, that's the normal now. And, uh, and how we move forward is, uh, is, the, is the tricky thing. Yeah. When I went to the cemetery to deal with stuff with my dad, I went to go visit my brother and I needed to get like the map they give you. And when I realized yeah. that it was about to be 10 years since my brother had passed, I felt the exact same way where it was like, yeah, no, nope, nothing's really changed. You, you know, you just, you, you learn to kind of live with it, you know, and it just kind of, is what it is you know with you i feel like you went back to work fairly soon after your dad passed right yeah actually um why well, I, I was not funny but I, I remember i i flew into chicago um we were we were getting into the nitty-gritty on potentially stardust versus uh stephen amell uh from arrow and, and now my my good friend stephen we were getting into that and we wanted to start work on it on television i flew to chicago and it was, uh, I think it was just a collector who caught me on a bad day, but somebody had come up to me and I wasn't uh, just there in that moment. Wasn't I wasn't going to be able to do it. Um, so I did go back to work, but not actually I, I, I needed some some time. And I feel like looking back on it in hindsight, I wish I had immediately gone back to work. Because I you've got to fill the time, right? You've got to. Uh, You've got to fill the time and, and there's a cathartic element to doing interviews in the ring and a cathartic element to, to wrestling. I, it, to be totally transparent, one of the reasons I wrestle so violently, um, I, I, people this Monday might have noticed I was bleeding a little from my forehead and um, me and uh, me and Chad Gable absolutely brought it to one another. One of the reasons I wrestle like that is because this is my cathartic uh therapeutic thing that that I do I go out there with a really a lot in here uh that I that I want to uh kind of throw up <laughs> uh on the canvas and that's just one of the reasons why more more than usual if you watch me leaving uh a ring that night um there's probably a chop mark or a scratch or a cut or, or something just because I uh it's I I, I like it it, hel it helps me with everything in my life, all the different, uh, you know, things that we face on a, on a daily basis and anxieties and, and issues that we have. I mean, all, all wrestlers are, the, the term isn't, you know, I don't mean to use it in a way that offends anybody, but we're all a little crazy. And one of the things that maybe keeps me from spinning out is I can get crazy in the ring.